Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Wild card weekend. Let me tell you something, Animal. It is wild that we're here. Wild card, bitches! Yeah, no, that's the pun. It's a play on words. I like what you did there. You know what else I like what you did? Last week, you went 3-0, and and that's uh, pretty good because, as you can see on this show, when you go 3-0, and you dress 3-0. and Oh, what's that? Well, I look like shit, but I still dressed 3-0 and because what happened? We went... 3 and 0 each. That means 6 and 0. 6 and 0 as a show on Bagels the show. Hell yeah. And I think I think here that was that was better. Look at my elbow. I think this is our third combined time. We believe so. We had we didn't go back and check the records. Pretty sure this is the third time on the show that we went 3 and 0, 3 and 0, 6 and 0 for a total, which means if you've been betting $10 Every single week on all of our bets, parlaying, all six. parlay all six, every single week, $10, it would have cost you $180. But you would be up around $1,200, maybe $1,100. We didn't do the math, but so we know the, the, we know the that, odds. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's really, it's something that you should start doing for the next month. And the year coming. Yeah, 2000, what are we, 20? Uh, yeah. 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 Yep. I don't, I don't really and you know what else is coming? My first pick. Uh, I had our records up there, by the way. I didn't brag, but yeah, well, yeah. also, yeah, just to, we'll touch on it. Over five hundred. Finally, congratulations. Eight games down, I crawled my way back. Congratulations. Crawled, crawled, crawled. Uh, what is that? Over my last, you know, what? I don't really give a. Shit. It doesn't matter. It's just you know. It's, it's about the show now. Yeah. You are a sharp. Almost twenty games over five hundred, which is remarkable. Just an overall great season for you. And now it's time to finish strong. For the we're going to keep it going. For the people. I'm going to tease this pick a little bit here. Ready? All right. First pick of the playoffs, of the wild card, we got the Steelers at the Chiefs. I'm not going to tell you who I'm taking yet. Ike, don't, don't give me shit. Here we go. Ready? Big Ben is mad. Ben is so mad. He's so not ready for this game. I'm taking the Chiefs minus 12 and a half. Ben is mad that he has to play. He, when I was, you know, maybe you got the vibe like Ben is mad. He's going to come in and have a fucking a career, like playoff run to retire. No, he's retired. He already no, retired. That was last week when they won. That was it. He's done. He's pissed. He doesn't want to play this game. Uh, Chiefs are going to steamroll minus 12 and a half. Might be tight for the first quarter, maybe, maybe the second. But maybe. after halftime, see you later, Ben. So uh, night, night. Uh, Steelers minus 12 and a half. The Chiefs that never cover ever, they're going to cover. This has 34, it's simple. This has 34 10 written all over. It's simple. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is the only game of the weekend that's going to be a, an absolute blowout. Just a burial. I think. I think. It's simple. And again, I have no fing idea what's going to happen. It's all simple. Right. We, uh, for the first time ever, we have, I think this is Monday night, we have a Monday night wild card game. Isn't that wild? I think you should know this before you. No, it doesn't matter. Monday, Sunday, Saturday, it don't f***ing matter. Whenever the game is played, we look at the lines. We look at the teams. We look at the quarterbacks. We look at the coaches. I'm going to Los Angeles, and I'm taking the Rams minus three and a half. I hate the hook. I really do. But I, we've been saying on the show for a while, I don't I don't know if once we, either one of us, have picked the Cardinals. It's just so I don't think that we've picked the Cardinals. I don't we both remember. Think, we both think the Cardinals stink. They are overrated. Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury can blow me. Well, I did pick them one time. Okay, one time out of 18 weeks. And you can bleep that blow me part out. Like, well, you don't no, have to. He, I don't well, give a shit. Yeah, no, I really don't give a shit. You bleeped it. You said it twice now. Yeah, whatever. F*** me. That's three. They, uh, well, whatever. Dinkleberry Kingsbury. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, made myself laugh. I don't trust the Cardinals in a big spot here. They have played like shit over the last month and a half. People still, I think this line is Vegas telling us that they still think the Cardinals are like October Arizona when they were just steamrolling through people. The Rams are 20 times more talented. And I was talking about this before the show to my friend Animal. They have all the pressure on them. All of them. They do. 
They have to win. They have no draft picks. They have all this cap space that is locked into all these star players. They need to win. They need to advance. Maybe that gets in their head. I don't think so. I think they have the better coach. I think Stafford's a better overall quarterback than Kyler Murray. He's more experienced. They got the better weapons. They got the better old line. They got the better D line. I think three and a half is a good play. I see them winning by six or more. Rams minus three and a half. Uh, it's simple. Whoa. Who the f do you think you are? <laughs> I am. All right. I'm giving you my second pick of the week. We are heading to the sunny Tampa Bay, but we're taking the Eagles uh, plus <laughs> plus eight and a half. Uh, here's why. Here's why. This, this this covered last week. Last time was 2022. Not last week. Last time they played. Uh, it was a two-point conversion. Something happened. Yeah, they covered. The Eagles covered, I believe. Mark, or Well, they would cover this line. They didn't Mark cover that game. That. I Whatever. That. I don't care. No, don't sorry, worry about sorry. that. Just, yeah. No, 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 you shut Shut your mouth. Shut, 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 shut your mouth. All right. So, Eagles plus eight and a half. That's my pick. Here's what I'm doing. It's the playoffs. So, for the most, for the most part, other than the Chiefs, I like to take the dogs, right? Because you expect these to be some tight games. Obviously, there's a couple guys that sneak in that don't deserve it, like the Steelers and Ben. But the Eagles, uh, you know, they turned it around. They uh, they played the Bucks tight last time, plus eight and a half. Jalen Hurts, I just think in the playoffs, you know, plus the, the Bucks got a lot, lot of hurt. And this is the year Tom Brady goes down. I'm calling it right now. We say it every year. If I keep saying it, I'll be right one time. Right? I'll be right one time. Snacks, now you can talk. I'll yeah. be right one time. Yeah, Max Kellerman's been saying that for eight years. So. <laughs> so He already beat you to that point. Let's go with the Eagles plus eight and a half. I don't Tom hate, Brady's going down. I don't hate the Eagles with the points. I don't. I don't think the Bucs lose, though. Yeah. yeah it's no. not a bias thing. I just I don't think the Eagles are that good. No, you're right. I, but I got a little head. I got a little carried away. But we, we're still taking the points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, whatever, whatever. Regardless, it could happen. You never know. I've seen wackier shit. Listen, the Giants beat an 18 and 0 Patriots team, and they were 14 and a half point underdogs. So, I've seen some weird shit. Yeah. Speaking of the Patriots, <clears throat> I feel like I'm being duped on this line. I really do, or on this total, I should say. Uh, don't fucking take my. No, I'm not. I'm not. I, I feel. Whoa! Like, I bleep all that. I feel like I'm being duped. I'm going. Patriots, Bills, under 44. It, it seems way too obvious to me. Last time they played in Buffalo, the wind was crazy. The weather was awful. The Patriots had 49 plays, and they ran the ball 46 times. The Patriots' pass defense is elite. It's the elite of the elite. Who better to stop a mobile, 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 whatever, Strong arm quarterback like Josh Allen and the greatest defensive mind that has ever walked God's green earth in Bill Belichick. The Patriots are not going to put Mac Jones in harm's way and have him throw the ball 30 times. It's just not going to happen. They know they can't win that way. They're going to run the ball. 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 It's just, it seems like way too many points. The weather apparently is going to be one degrees with a wind chill of like minus 15. It, it screams under to me so much that I'm starting to hate it. I'm like starting to hate the under, but we're taking the under 44, Pat's Bills. I just, I I don't see how these two offenses score on each other. They're not going to score on each other. The offense scores against the defense, defense. and vice versa. But the yes. Bills, the Bills, number one defense in the league. The Patriots, number one pass defense in the league. The Bills can't run the ball. The Pats are going to stop the pass. The Pats are going to stop the pass. A lot of runs. A lot of time clicking off that clock. Under 44. Pat's Bills. It's simple. Oh. Did it again, didn't I? It's fucking insane. All right. Uh, let's head on over to the other studio for the underdog uh, play of the day. See what the boys got to do. All right. Thanks, boys. That was uh, some good picks you gave us there. Now we're going to give you guys some good picks. If you head over to underdogfantasy.com or you download Underdog, uh, the app. Um, the yeah, I, where this is the pickums, three X, you three X. Uh, we're gonna. I give you Debo Samuel, ninety two and a half rushing and receiving yards. We're taking the over. Love that. F the 
Cowboys, miserable f***ing fan base, not America's team because America's not a loser and they haven't won in 25 years, so stop calling them America's team because that would make America losers. Anyway, I am going Derek Carr over 257 and a half yards passing. Really good quarterback, back in the playoffs, going to do it. Bengals pass defense stinks. Derek Carr over 257 and a half. Is you bet these is three X. There's also um, a special line for for Stefan Diggs. Uh, I'll, it's it, you could read it. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, don't do it. You can add it. Don't. You only get one throughout the playoffs though. So Pat's gonna shut his ass. No, no, you only get it's one catch. Oh. It's a special line. You I only get you only get one through the playoffs though. So you, you know until the Super Bowl. So you might want to save it. Might as well do it. You might want to save it. Mm. But anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, back to you guys. Er, er, what happened? Back? Mm-hmm. Suck it up. We got a show to do. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Snacks just threw out his back. Oh, dude, I'm in pain. He's really fucked up right now. This is amazing. It's a good time. Hey, oh, did you hear that sound? No. Oh, you. Sh- I mean, if you really, if you're in a lot of pain, you can oh, hear it. Oh God! Did you hear that sound? I know exactly what he's going through. I've done it a lot. You bend over and you just like pull something and you're like. Is this what it's like getting old? That. that yeah. Yeah. Like oh. You know what else what happens when you get old? Your hearing goes. But did you hear that sound? Got it. Fuck yeah. Got it. Fuck got yeah. it. Yep. Yep. Got it. Right there. All right. The left ear. I told you it's the left ear is the strong ear. Okay. So that means. It's time for the big locks. Oh, we need it. We need it. We need it. We, need it. we gotta make it to the Super Bowl. Let's make it. Let's make it to the Super Bowl. This has got to get us to the next decade. Yeah. I mean, the longer the better. All right. Hold on. The big locks. Christ, I'm hey, in pain. Hey, suck it up. Sorry, sorry. Watch, I hope you're not watching with your kids. I'm sorry. Suck it up. Uh, yeah, their kids are all gambling. All right. My big lock. I started young. We are going right back to it. I went with it the other week and we lost. So that means we go back to it and we win. We're taking the Patriots at the Bills plus four. We're taking playoff Bill over playoff Bills. Right? Remember this one, Bill over the Bills? Well, it's playoff Bill over playoff Bills, right? Plus four. I um, I just think, like, it, you know, go back to kind of what Snack said earlier when he took his under. It's more of a, you know, Bills are going to run the ball. And, uh, try to run the ball. I mean, the Patriots are going to run the yes, ball. There you go. Uh, the Bills are going to try and stop them. They really can't. Mm-hmm. And Bill is a, a defensive genius, and in the playoffs, you know he's a, he's got something that he hasn't shown you yet. He's scheming something. He's turning it up. The players, they love to play for him, especially in the playoffs. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I love this. I, love, I like the Patriots to win that one. So. Poor ladies. That's because I crinkled That's it. That's the most pathetic. That's because I crinkled remember, it. Remember when you said mine was pathetic <laughs> a few months ago? That's the worst. That was the, of the crinkle year. effect. I will recover his mistakes. But we did it last week. We've done it numerous times. Some people are like, oh, Snacks, you're just a huge Giants fan, blah, 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 blah. Wrong. That's all an act. Who's my favorite team? The Raiders. Raiders. For a second, you made it sound like you were going to take the Giants. I was like, bro. Listen. You can't. If we got in, we'd be scary. But. But. Raiders plus five against the Bengals. I I, I don't even know what to say here. It's disrespect that the AFC favorites to get to the Super Bowl are getting five points. I don't care if it's on the road in Cincinnati. The Raiders are hot. That interim coach is playing for his job. He wants to coach this Raiders team next year. Derek Carr. Listen. Love Joe Burrow. Love him. I think mean, he's a great quarterback. I would he's trade got swag. the whole draft for him right now. He is amazing. Every pick we yeah, have I, right I now. I would trade my next 12 for Joe Burrow. Yeah. But Derek Carr is better. Sorry. No, he's not. But yeah, he's, he's very, very good, and he gets good. slept on. He's underrated. He is a baller. He's a gamer. He's a playmaker. He's throwing a Hunter Renfro. That's it. Well, I guess Darren Waller's back now, too, which only escalates 
and enhances my plus five pick. It's going to be a cold weather, smash mouth football. Disagree. Derek Carr is going to go over 257 and a half passing yards. See what I did there? I just caught up in myself. I know I, I could see the Raiders losing the game, but only by a field goal. Uh, I'm going to take the experience. Derek Carr has been in the playoffs before. Joe Burrow, this is, I know he won a national championship in college, but this is not college football anymore. This is playoff NFL football. A uh, lot of pressure on the Bengals. They're the AFC North champions. They're at home. Fans are starving for a playoff win. And I just, I like the Raiders getting the points here. I really do. I think they're very evenly matched teams. And I see this going down to a field goal game and the Raiders pulling off the upset. So, might as well take the points. Raiders plus five. Sorry, not the Raiders. Raiders plus five. Lock it the f*** in. Parlay all this. Bills under 44. Rams minus three and a half. Dear Raiders plus five. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Has Derek Carr played in the playoffs? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. They broke, he broke his leg. I don't think he did. Yeah. Fact check. We need a fact check on that. I, I was wrong. We need a fact I think check on that. it was Matt McGloin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he broke his leg yep. but, before that. But, but, yeah. but. So, whatever. I'm just a f***ing sharp, so he's that's old. how I know that. He's old. So. Thanks for watching. That's the show. Please like, please subscribe, comment your big locks down below. Bagels and locks. Bagels and locks.